what can I say? Thank you, intermission, 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 intermission screen. Uh, I'm just going to share this again. Uh, it's going so well as well. Right, okay. <laughs> that wasn't the best start. Um, I should be used to this. Um, I mean, most of the block is 10. Uh, Oasis 103. A Grand Chic is Charles Lewis. Uh, I've got the audio here. I've got a mic. Then I've got a backup mic behind me. With headphones. <laughs> I'll put that over there. I'll just use uh, the good thing about Streamlabs is you can use two microphones, uh, USB, and once you go to set up, you're up and going. Okay, just a spam message. I kind of thought that was going to happen. Also, got to block that person very shortly. <laughs> Once the end of stream, don't phone me. Right, um, what was I talking about? Um, this this tent meeting, yeah. Oh, oh, welcome back to my studio, by the way. It's the first time I've done a stream since September. Unbelievable. Um, it's not been an easy year. And this is September again. It's not been an easy year. No, it actually, um. It was uh, December, the yeah, December I stopped streaming actually. Um, mainly because uh, Martin Tini uh, sadly passed away and he's always with us. Um, we had a really, really um, few uh, tent yesterday. And uh, thanks for everybody for coming along. And uh, we raised seventy pound for Martin Tini's uh, charity, and um, that'll be that'll be on its way. And uh, just thanks for everybody turning it along and crum um, donating uh, for the funds. I wish I could put more couple more pounds in it, you know. Um, Apart from that, we do miss uh, Martin deeply, but um, it'll just take its time. But just thanks for everybody turn turn up yesterday to give support for everybody, and uh, I, I personally want to thank you for that, and from Laura and family, and our grand chic. Uh, Martin was a founding men member 
of the blockage tent and uh, he's been there from the very very start and it's, that's why it's kind of hard from the long term members I've been back and forward um, no dates and my dates are known when I officially joined but obviously the Royal Oak but uh, obviously my trip to Ryrie is just the uh, morning to get a bite to eat um, obviously that's my first tent meeting many many years ago it's this one Christmas meeting and I went back again and thankfully I, I, I did come back but my dad invited me to come along um, Gordon Davies dad um, had, had a, a bit of um, time missed to, to absent friends uh, thanks Gordon and um, we we'll, we'll all miss um, somebody up there and the Rose looking down at us and it will be proud of us you know uh, right uh, yes this tent meeting uh, full house biggest I've seen for a long long time and we had a really really good tent meeting to be honest I was the first day I, I got there at the back of 12 and um, I asked the staff I said did you walk go up and I got the key there I said Mm. Okay, <laughs> so I put my stuff upstairs and I got set up and all that. And I said, um, "Well, I'm thinking." Charlie panics when I'm not there, so this time um, I got the stuff up, got set out, and he wasn't here yet, so that's not too bad. So it's almost all set up, computers. The computer and laptop work with the computer and uh, monitor that and uh, I started clearing the room then uh, I went downstairs and uh, Stuart came in the ball the legend and eventually Charlie came and <laughs> I said to Charlie Charlie I got some bad news I left my my suitcase and the train, I need to go back for it. All my gear in it. Charlie went, <gasps> and it sunk in. Charlie's not on Facebook, so he just didn't get it at all. Uh, a lot of people did see my post that I also got the suitcase and my streaming gear for the, 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 the blockhouse tent, so it's just Charlie just never knew. <laughs> The bar staff, the bar staff went and let them know the secret. I said, "I'm going to get Charlie. <laughs> Watch this. Watch him freak out and say, I've, 'I've lost the suitcase.' <laughs> but um, yeah, it was good. We all settled in after that, and I took Charlie's stuff up, and he's feeling a lot, lot better, and he's walking far, far better now. So that's great. And brought, brought without the walking stick this time, because um, as hell an injury he got. And it took a lot, a lot of time uh, to heal. So I got the projector and that go, uh, up and going, and I got everything set up upstairs. The old Charlie's relaxing after my <laughs> joke, <laughs> bluff joke. You've got to say about a really straight face, you know, without laughing, you know. <laughs> no, I know, I know, it's, it's hard. You just got to get a fishing rod, you know. I got a catch. <laughs> I've got a bite. <laughs> it was that funny. Oh yeah, it's so funny. And um, it's great to latch a little well. I think the hardest thing getting set up is obviously getting everything ready for the team members coming in. And obviously, I didn't know who was coming in. It'll be three or four, maybe under ten, but under and around about twenty, twenty-five, I think. I didn't have a total head count, but um, I managed to take a photo at that time raffle once it ended, so that's you can count the numbers there. Charlie, stop hiding at the back. You might be at the front. <laughs> Charlie always hides at the back. He's a grand sheik. He should be right at the front. 
uh, I took that with my um, my selfie. Uh, I got a stand there, so I took some photos. So that's okay. That down a bit more. There, I can see my mic. You can hear me now. Uh, apart from that, yeah, it's great. Great to see so many. And some older faces came back as well. I haven't been for some years. And uh, it was great. And I recognised one guy. I said, I met, last time I remember you, with a, when hosted a, a podcast tent there one night at the Docky Flybury. And I recognised immediately like I used to bring his daughter years ago. And that's way, way back. Um, uh, then Leaf Walk with a um, telling telecommunications club when we met down that's the last time probably seen him probably many years so he was back and I managed to show him later on once I settled down a little bit the stuff I'd been doing for the hard drive edition for the block case tent and I uh, said wow that's amazing so I know it's a old scenario and so went to DVD said I just wanted to take a step further I went to the hard drive format and uh, I got my own software for that, so I managed to rip it, rename the whole lot. It took a long, long time. But it's all settled now, and it's, uh, I've got a nice format there. And um, everybody feels a bit relaxed once it gets up and going. And it's a lot shorter uh, without the DVD format. Um, and it just takes longer to load up. You got the menu, then you got the copyright. Nobody wants to see that. But uh, I cover my area for that as my own collection, and my own collection for the, the actual club meeting. So if anybody comes along, said uh, that's um, illegal. I went. Well, you've got to write yourself and get the hell out of here, okay? That's my collection. Okay. Hit road jack. So that's how you deal with these people. Uh, the only downside, as long as you don't sell it, it then it comes illegal. So I'm doing the, the, the legal route. Okay? That's how I deal with, deal with it. Um, so what they got up yesterday, I watched a few movies. I watched something brand new yesterday. Only I only seen this about four days ago, and I watched it quite a few times, and I thought it was quite hilarious. Um, I didn't want to tell anybody. I didn't want to announce it, so I came a secret, something secret. But you could tell somebody to get upset straight away. There was somebody that always gets upset. So I said that's been brilliant for the tent meeting. And what what's the name of the film? It was um. Hats off, actually. Um, it's, they haven't found the real yet. The real, 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 R-E-E-L, real, as in cinema real, that's been lost in time. And the one I showed yesterday was probably the best I've seen in a long, long time. I think it is the ultimate best. But I'm going to, I'm going to show it the once since it's, it's a fuel house because some people in the tent have not got internet access at all so I said why not I'll show it so I downloaded it and uh, it's in my collection and uh, I showed it that's it I've I done a small presentation for a um, got the, for a start showing it and I said uh, it's only 20 minutes long the reels are lost forever, might never be found. I've seen some horrible, horrible uh, hats off productions, and they're actually awful. And I've I seen this last week, and I said, this would be great to show, show it in a, a, our tent. It be, would be amazing. So what we'd ask you to do, watch it, comment after when it finishes. And that's what I did. And uh, a lot let go uh, it's all on the big screen and uh, I didn't bother watching it because I'd rather watch it about 22 times in the last 5 days and uh, I think it's 
it's really it's all about clips. Um, but it's probably the best as a doll. It's a silent film, nineteen twenty-seven, and I think it's real, really good, real good. But I, I don't think it'll get any better, and we will never know what the film really looked like, apart from the big steps going all the way up to the top of the hill, or the top of the stoop. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, it was different, and uh, I got heckled a couple of times, but it's, it's not an actual it's going to happen, because they didn't understand this was an independent studio, and I didn't have actually the, um, the full details of who actually made it. So um, I shared it the on Blockhead's group and page, and just let them know this who who actually produced this, and it's actually a uh, 2022 20, 20, 20, production, and um, I, I, I didn't have that information in front of me because I didn't have any internet yesterday. Um, it was just I just named it as a title. Hats off. Just uh, uh, a reconstruction. So I'll keep it that. And the feedback I got was, it was really good. It's good to get the feedback. And sp I, sp I spent about 10 minutes listening to everybody, going around everybody. There's about 25 people in there, 20, 25. And I went around er everybody. And even a bit later on, and Charlie went and said, that anybody at the back there, and, and they spoke up as well. I said, they quite enjoyed it. I always said, wouldn't you like to see it again? But obviously, it's not a fake. You know, why why would it be fake? You know, I had uh, original piano music, uh, original clippings, it's the way we went round it, and some funny bits at the end with the hats off to go everywhere. It's called Hats Off. Keep away from my hat and keep off my lawn. <laughs> That's why I wear a cap, because of the, the shiny hair. That's what hats is all about. Uh, once at the end, it's going to get tit for tat, and just, it goes crazy. <laughs> it goes absolutely bedlam. Uh, what other films did the show yesterday? Uh, we started with Tom and Jerry. Unfortunately, um, I gave the real copy to Charlie, my grand sheik. <laughs> but it was Freddy Cat. And I started off with that, and really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed it. And... Then I went to, I had to drop one film because it's only two minutes long. Uh, that was Hats Off, the re, um, reconstruction of Hats Off. And then we've done uh, One Good Turn. Then Going Bye Bye. Me and my pal. Hope I get this right I got half the. Oh, wait a minute. Um, wait a minute. No, I couldn't show your damn toot and I had to drop that. That's a uh, silent, I'm sure. And to place that way, um, uh, hats off. So the full list was obviously, I was still trying to work it yesterday. Fre Freddy Cat, Tom and Jerry, hats off, one good turn, going bye bye. Me and my pal, I love that film. And help me, it's at the end. I got a bit, uh, it's <laughs> at the end, I went, I think I'm going to run out of time. But thank was only a 20 minute short. I went, thanks Gordon Davy for that, thank you. <laughs> I relaxed. Because I spent that much time uh, doing a Q&A about the hats off at the beginning. Then obviously I went on quite a bit with um, the raffle, so. And then I took the photo, took a bit longer. And uh, that, that was that. Uh, but for that, um, last Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Never wrote that down, but I know which one that is. It's uh, volume one. Uh, where, where, where is it? Damn it. Uh, where's my own hard disk? Damn it, it's on this one. Right, um, small fight this now.
I'm sure it's mouse trouble. I'm sure it's mouse trouble. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure it's mouse trouble. That's because uh, Tom, uh, Tom, um, I'll just smallify this now. I don't do my collection. Uh, where it, oops. Yeah, it's definitely mouse trouble. Because um, what Tom does, he uh, gets this book and he's got these hints and tips about how, how to catch a mouse. <laughs> Can you imagine what's going to happen? <laughs> Read a book and it's all true. It doesn't quite work. Um, at the end, he just throws it away. <laughs> Nothing works for pure Tom. And Jenny wants to be laughing at, laughing at, and you know, oh, it's a good, it's a good one, good one. I yeah, I I, I managed to find it. That's um, I had to, to try it. I had to um. Uh, dear I didn't ask anybody what Tom and Jerry you wanted. I picked them myself, and one or two. I have picked one or two bloomers. <laughs> Later on, the Tom and Jerry's is about two, two hundred, maybe four hundred. I'm sure it's about two hundred to pick from. But the other ones are far better. Just try it. If you're watching them, it's, it's fine. Eh? Uh, we've got a personal favourites of Tom and Jerry's, um, but I'm going to keep them for later, for another tent meeting, and uh, later on. Um, okay, uh, what else? Oh yeah, I went to Berk upon Tweed um, for a short weekend and uh, I managed to do a stream down there for the Block S tent. It was hilarious. I watched it sa Saturday night on my mobile. It's even, it's even better when you've got a PC or on your TV. It's it's more better. It's quite funny actually, to be honest. Apart for the wind, I had a per perfect view from a spot, it was just too windy. Um, but it, it was it was a bit drizzly and a bit overcast, so it wouldn't have helped. To, but I managed to find a bit of, a, a hollow, or a bit of shelter at least, uh, to stream it without the the wind effect in the microphone, which I had the actual headphones at that time. And uh, it went really, really well. Uh, have a watch. I think it's a bit. 45 minutes, I think. Not 45 minutes from Hollywood! <laughs> That's one of the other long hard ones. It's like, it? it's like documentary, I think. But, um, you never watch that at the Blockhead's Night meetings. It's quite understandable. It's pretty dire. Uh, I've watched that a few times in house. Uh, it's it's more like a kind of mini documentary. There's a few walk ins here. Um, then later on, once I ended that stream, uh, I don't have a talk uh, on my main stream, uh, non uh, blockage tent or Lon Hardy. But I was talking Lon Hardy, of course, because obviously that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so you just got to have some kind of conversation there. And I enjoyed that as well. It was an extra stream, actually. And I really enjoyed it. Um, made my day. And that's about. 40 minutes long, I think. And, uh, kind of my old friends are actually tuned in to watch, it's unbelievable. Uh, non non and Hardy, that is. And, uh, it's quite amazing. Uh, behind me, also that's some studio anyway. Uh, one of my favourite pictures were the, the short movies. And, um, my wife bought that some years ago, and it stays in my studio. Uh, what else is here? It's... So here. Oh god, I need to get a seat up a little bit. Oh, there you go, it's up. <laughs> my seat is up. They need to move my mic up as well. Uh, I've got can. Oh, damn it. USB keyboards in the road. Uh, I've got some calendars up there uh, that I've collected over the years. So there they all are. Uh, they're pretty amazing, and I've got the updated one, and the new one for 2023 is on sale way down south. Uh, so obviously, if you want a book, I'll post some links on the blockhead tent. Not today, but maybe during uh, next week or later on this week, and uh, and later on they will pop up in the local supermarkets or malls, 
Uh, I, I do know one of the Edinburgh personally, it's called Cameron Toll. They usually come up around at Christmas, so anybody in the Edinburgh area can buy them there. They're around about the same price. It's uh, They go up and down, but they re- really, usually sell it uh, around £10, £11. Pound. You're not getting cheaper than that, unless somebody's chucked one in the bucket, you know. You'd be surprised. Uh, but they're brand new, and that, that'll that be uh, for any collectors that are out there. Uh, can add to you the whole year. I just put my um, um, Lockheed's tent meetings on them, so so that's that. Uh, there's no Lockheed's tent meeting in December, that's uh, that's been cancelled. Uh, so I'll be removing that from the profile. Uh, so that's about that. So it's about probably our two meetings, and what other meetings are there? Um, is I'll just show what's there. Obviously, just it was different because it always had something new. I think it might have been the first one in the UK to show it on an actual um a tent meeting. So it, it's good. That um, people without, without, without internet can actually see it, because um, what can you do? Uh, but I passed links over, so have a look, comment, hate it. I don't care. Um, like it. Have your comment. It's a free world. It's not not Russia. You know, you can see what happens in Russia. You know, <laughs> we get bumped off. Uh, apart from that, all my Russian jokes are out the window, what they've done to Ukraine, okay, eh? That's sad. Anyway, moving off from that subject, I don't like talking about... I'd be rushed to get away. <laughs> <laughs> my new Lawn Hardy magazine came. It just came this uh, afternoon. That's the new one. I uploaded to uh, the podcast tent and to the page. And uh, it's got a new format to it. Uh, it's it's well worth the money, and I've been off and on for the for some years. You know, I was doing the Lockcast Ten uh, newsletter, and um, it wasn't much online back then, so that's why I bought this some years ago. I've been back and forward, and it's good for feedback. Uh, I don't news. Don't do newsletters anymore. Um, I just deal with a group uh, getting set up, and a technical man of the podcast tent, uh, tech guy, IT guy, and I run the the podcast tent group um, here, an open group here, but the page as well. So that's great. It takes a lot off Charlie, and uh, and uh, they've got. Quite a few new followers, uh, followers throughout the world, uh, in the UK. It's I, I tried to go for Edinburgh area, Scotland. You know, it just just didn't work out. So just other tents just came in and I joined their tents and you know just follow them, like and you know it's it's probably the best way really. I see how they're getting on. They post their. Uh, what they what they're doing or the, the events and, and I share it. Uh, they they don't want to hear how we're getting on here in the Edinburgh blockcase tent, and I sometimes share how the other two blockcase uh, blockcase tents, the other two tents in uh, Scotland are getting on through in the west, um, now and again, but uh, obviously uh, it just takes a bit of time. Uh, so so there you go. Um, my collection, I'll talk about my collection another time, but also you can see some of my collection there. I mean, I've done a lot, a lot of streams about my collections. But obviously when you get new members or new followers come to follow us here at the Blockcast Tent, I've got to go all over it again. And uh, so that's that's not a problem at all. I've got a lot, a lot of books. I've got a lot, a lot of magazines. I've got loads and loads and loads and loads of pamphlets over the years of Lawn Hardy. So they're they're in a box and the amount of times I've brought them out during a live stream 
uh, five odd years ago. It was unbelievable. I didn't have a very good computer back then. I could just kept cutting out. It destroys your confidence. My computer I've got now, I've got a gaming machine here, and I've got this one, and it's it's real good, and it's real, real steady, as long as the internet's gone, you've got fast internet, which I have, it crashes sometimes, that's cable for you, but um, it has fast internet when, it, when it's behaving itself, and it's uh, pretty straightforward. Oh, you want to see my statue behind me? I've got a statue over there. There. There you go. I'll talk about it now. Oh, that's over a little bit. There you go. This one uh, has given by a, a very close friend. And um, I hope he gets well. He's in the hospital at the moment. And um, getting ill. Get real soon. Uh, this is pretty amazing. I got this a few months ago, and uh, it's absolutely well built. Much respect there, you know. Absolutely amazing. Somebody got it for a fiver, um, and at least you know they've got it for a fiver. It, it's got a new home. I have no idea how much he spent on this, but it, it was not cheap. So um, I'm going to look after that. Thanks, Gary. I've talked to it a couple of times, but I've never actually had the right light to show up. I think I've got the right light now. So that's good. Yes, behave yourself monitor. I've got three monitors at the moment. I've got, um, no, I've got, uh, the, this computer's one, a dual monitor. Um, and I've got a TV over there plugged into another computer, my gaming PC. Now, these two guys I managed to save. Want to get comfy again. Uh, Ollie. You going to say something to the microphone? I have nothing to say. <laughs> Stanley. What have you got to say? I managed to save them a few years ago. Um, some recently uh, passed away, and I've oh, got this microphone in the road, it's right in the road. If I get a proper look at it, there you go, to the left, to the right. Oh, for the sons of the desert, are we? Yay, there they are. Hey! I managed to, um, uh, a great collector from the West, who uh, sadly passed away some years ago. Um, and to find a new home, it did have a couple of accidents here. Unfortunately, you know what cats are like; just knock shit over, you know. So I had to get some stupid glue and just some fingers. <laughs> got one finger left. A nightmare. He's got other fingers. I think some have probably damaged before, but obviously it's got cracked right open, and to stupid glue it back on again. Do something to help me. And poor Ollie, <laughs> he had the same trouble. He fell down the stairs. <laughs> he would get the stairs, the bit, some brats, you know. He could go right down the stairs, that was him. Statue. But da 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 I went, oh no. Christ, not again. Cat again. Unbelievable. But then again, I was taking a photo shot of the stairs, and Cat must have got a frightened. Ran between the two of them, no, it went down. I'm like, oh God. Uh, I managed to make a better job of this, but this one was broken in half. But uh, they've both been fixed and restored, so that's good. It's still got a good home. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we've got other statues there as well. Uh, things have been picked up over the years. Oh, I've got loads of stuff. 
또 6월에 This one's for the music box. It's like a, a big stand. Over here, over there, over there. Ah, oh, there we are. All right. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh. Microphones in the road again. There you go. That's that. And uh, so I picked up as well. A lot of sing along. There you go. Done. Uh, the sheet behind me, I managed to pick on the internet and um, it's up there permanently. But I've got to take all that off because uh, I've got a severe to look at the windows. And I've got a clock. My wife bought me a clock, a Lonardi clock up there. Uh, it goes tick tock, tick tock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> it hasn't got a cuckoo, but I'll do that. But uh, obviously, that's on my calendars up there. Uh, I've got a complete uh, collection of Lauren Hardy and everything. I've got the full collection now. And just a slight add on with that uh, hats off uh, reconstruction one. That's um, still an extra. I can watch myself again and again in my house. But not at the tent meetings. Um, so. I've got a whole load of books which are over there and over here and over there. There you go, the legends they are. I've not got my uh, studio fully set out, it's partially set out. So that I, I managed to pack all the stuff away. Uh, mostly, I've got the bits and bobs kicking about. This one, these two went and put my guitar. Not a real guitar. It's air guitars that kids have, and uh, I've done a couple of stunts with that with the Denver Festival. It's quite funny actually. 2019. Uh, played by Tom McGrath, Royal Lyceum Theatre Company, and uh, it was really, really good, and I enjoyed it. Um, there you go. And the cast is as Oliver Hardy, Stephen McCall. Uh, if I can find my glasses. I get that right. Steve McNichol and Stan Laurel. Barnaby Power. So there you go. Um, that's in my collection. And the one I posted this morning. Tell me that again. Quite a funny one. I've done that um, this morning. I've done that a year ago, probably. Also, oh, that's from when our pals from down south, down in Wigan. Hopefully, I get this right. 
Gary Winsley. Thank you very much. It's been a good, good, good read. All the photos and quotes. There you go, they're all there. Uh, well worth the money. And he personally thanked me for um, showing it. And hopefully a lot, a lot of people went and bought the, the paperback book to support them. Because that's that a lot of work you put into that. Uh, this one's one well, new ones actually. Uh, History of the How Road Studios. Um, Richard Lewis Ward. Uh, done this. It's uh, just the whole history of it. Um, I still have to read it, but it's good reference. Also, my collection. That's my latest one that came. This one also is my latest one as well. This I can stand no more. This is more than I can stand. Sorry, that's like me two months ago at my work. <laughs> how how far can you push me? Uh, a biography of Charlie Hall by Ju John Eula. A very good read. Um, tip for tat. Tip for tat again. <laughs> and also the first one they done was obviously them, their house. So, there's a lot in it. Now it's for Charlie Hall. It's better, it's better like this, to be honest. It's just nice. It's relaxed and um, I feel better for it and I've got a whole week off this week I'm just getting back to my boss I thought it was off to Wednesday I thought it was Wednesday to Wednesday back Wednesday but I misread the um, holiday sheet there and I'm back, back on Monday actually but I'll, I'll, I'm sent a me message to my uh, boss Steve so in case he wants me for cover on Friday probably so Apart from that, I might do another stream this week. Let's see what happens. Uh, I've used Streamlabs for a long, long time, but of course, it's a lot better now having more update computers. And um, it's only around that if your laptop doesn't run too, it depends. It really got to have a high spec of a lot of memory. Uh, you really, really got to get the a really good, really good uh, laptop or a good computer to stream it. You know, a lot of people, idiots out there, have got Windows 95 running it. Windows 95, what the hell are you running that piece of shit for? <laughs> non internet. <laughs> anyway, I'll end the stream. Uh, I'll try to look Grand Chic. Um, I'll keep the podcast tent, and then it comes to the other tents, I'll keep you posted. And I don't really posting at the end of his tents and there's a happy birthday from one of the tents down south uh, people happy birthday but usually I put a happy birthday from all of us from the blockcase tent rather than from myself and that's the way I do it and it's probably far better especially than the original got a computer nowadays you know or even a phone off that up to date phone uh, I have an iPhone and um, I don't use them that on a streaming um, for when when I'm out the house, I got my other phone there, um, Motorola, and that's really good for. Uh, for streaming, and that's what I was doing after Saturday actually, um, because I could put the headphones on, in it, and it's a lot better. The trouble with the iPhones, you've got to have a Bluetooth uh, headset mic. That's the only downside. It and it'd be just a couple of seconds out. Apart from that, it's, it's okay. But if you're on the outside, on the streets and all that, you've really got to have headphones and a mic, really, 
rather than uh, having the device in front of you. And the audio is actually, the mic is at the back of the phone, so it's picking up what's on the other side, and not on this side you've talked to it so far away. Like, not like, like that, you know. Um, so I've done a whole lot of upgrades since 2019. I've done everything there, so I've got what I need. I probably need to buy another Bluetooth mic headset shortly. I don't know where I've put the other one. It's somewhere, but I usually get the chargeable ones. I've I've got a headset, but it's got the mic, but it's, it's not got a mic with it. It's it's, it's um it's in the headphones itself. It's it's not very good. Uh, rather a mic down aside, you know, like like that. It's far far better. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, hello. Is anyone in here? There, there, there. Hello, hello, hello. Anyway, I'll cut the stream now. Um and um catch you soon. And uh, welcome to Monday. I told you to go there stream on Monday. Now I'm going to watch the real professional do the streams. <laughs>